Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to Draw My Life. We're trying something new today. I'm using the YouTube platform to shed a light on something that is important to me. We hope you like today's video. Disclaimer, the illustrations in today's video are fictional. The plot twist and overall narrative are real. The material shown is sensitive. Rated E. We hope this video is inspirational to you or someone you know. So it's no secret that humans are not the only ones to get abused and or neglected. Impounded dogs and cats are kept at the shelter for 14 days if they are microchipped and 7 days if they are not. This gives owners a chance to come forward. If the animal is not claimed within these time periods it is then made available for adoption. Each year, approximately 1.5 million shelter animals are euthanized, 670,000 dogs and 860,000 cats. The number of dogs and cats euthanized in U.S. shelters annually has declined from approximately 2.6 million in 2011. Each year, it's estimated that more than 1 million adoptable dogs and cats are euthanized in the United States, simply because too many pets come into shelters and too few people consider adoption when looking for a pet. The number of euthanized animals could be reduced dramatically if more people adopted pets instead of buying them. When you adopt, you save a loving animal by making them part of your family and open up shelter space for another animal who might desperately need it. Animal shelters and rescue groups are brimming with happy, healthy pets just waiting for someone to take them home. Most shelter pets wound up there because of a human problem like a move or a divorce, not because the animals did anything wrong. Many are already house trained and used to living with families. Usually when you adopt a pet, the cost of space slash neuter, first vaccinations, and sometimes even microchipping, is included in the adoption price, which can save you some of the upfront costs of adding a new member to your family. Depending on the animal, you may also save on housebreaking and training expenses. No one needs to see another selfie unless it's a selfie of you with the adorable pet you just adopted. Adopt a pet, post those pictures and let the well-earned likes roll in. If you buy a dog from a pet store online seller or flea market, you're almost certainly getting a dog from a puppy mill. Puppy mills are factory-style breeding facilities that put profit above the welfare of dogs. Animals from puppy mills are housed in shockingly poor conditions with improper medical care, and are often very sick and behaviorally troubled as a result. The moms of these puppies are kept in cages to be bred over and over for years, without human companionship and with little hope of ever joining a family. And after they're no longer profitable, breeding dogs are simply discarded either killed, abandoned, or sold at auction. These puppy mills continue to stay in business through deceptive tactics their customers are unsuspecting consumers who shop in pet stores, over the internet or through classified ads. Puppy mills will continue to operate until people stop supporting them. By adopting a pet, you can be certain you aren't giving them a dime. Many of the pets from shelters and rescues are already house trained, which means you're not only saving a pet's life, you may be saving your rug. Adopting a mature pet not only gives older animals a second chance, it often means introducing them to your family will be much easier. Not only do animals give you unconditional love, but they have been shown to be psychologically, emotionally, and physically beneficial to their companions. Caring for a pet can provide a sense of purpose and fulfillment and lessen feelings of loneliness. And when you adopt, you can also feel proud about helping an animal in need. Overburdened shelters take in millions of stray, abused and lost animals every year, and by adopting an animal, you're making room for others. Not only are you giving more animals a second chance, but the cost of your adoption goes directly towards helping those shelters better care for the animals they take in. You can go to the Shelter Pet Project to find pets near you, of every size, color, temperament, and breed. Purebred and mixed breed animals alike are waiting for their forever homes. It's time to give these priceless bundles of joy a place to call their own. Let's put an end to animal abuse and neglect. Enough is enough. Share this video. Click the like button if you enjoyed the video. Spread the word. Do you love animals? Do you have your own pet? We would love to know their names. If you don't have a pet, tell us what you want in the near future and why. If you ever had a pet, tell us what their name was. 